Hello, welcome to CMC Markets on Tuesday, the 1st of March, and the weekly market update. Now, it's been some time since I did one of these. I missed a week last week, but uh, last month was the third successive monthly decline for equity markets, though the FTSE 100, by a strange quirk of fate, managed to close the month just about in positive territory. Now, it's going to be a big week for equity markets this week. We've got a host of manufacturing PMI data out, not only from China, but also from Europe and the UK. And it's the UK probably more than anything I'm going to focus on this week. And obviously, we then end the week with non-farm payrolls on Friday. And as per usual, Colin Szynski and myself will be hosting a webinar to cover the non-farm payrolls numbers. And they could give us a, a, you know, a significant indication as to whether or not jobs growth in the US economy is now starting to show signs of slowing down. Last month was a very was a very poor number, came in 151,000. So I think the key I think the key thing to watch out for on Friday is whether or not we see an upward revision, and also whether or, whether or not we see a little bit of a pickup in the February numbers as well. But for the purposes of this week's video, I'm going to be focusing on the pound. It suffered its biggest monthly fall in quite some time and its lowest monthly close since the second quarter of 1985, below 140 against the dollar. And I think the big question that is um, vexing most people at the moment is when the pound is going to start to find a little bit of a base. It's lost significant ground against the euro. It's lost significant ground against the dollar. And I think the big question is, are we going to see further losses towards the lows that we saw in 2009 against the dollar at 135? Or are we going to continue, um, or, or, or essentially are we going to find a little bit of a base and start to get back above 140? So I'm going to be looking at cable, and I'm also going to be looking at euro sterling uh, in the context of whether or not the losses that we've seen there um, could actually be starting to come to an end given the fact that next week we've got the European Central Bank rate meeting and all bets are pointing to a further cut into negative territory by the ECB. So now we're going to move on to the daily chart and as can be seen it's quite clearly in a downtrend. We broke below the January lows at 1.4080.90 and we've continued to fall further. I think to see some, to see some evidence that there's a potential base in place, what we really need to see is not only for that oscillator to start turning higher, but what we also need to see is the price action recover back above those previous lows that we saw in January. So ideally I'd like to see a move back through 141 and back towards 142.20, 142.30, which was the previous lows that we saw at the beginning of last year and prompted the initial move higher up through 150 towards 156. So to get another indication of sterling strength or otherwise, I'm going to look at the euro sterling chart here. Now since we bottomed out around about November 2015, the euro has gone on a significant push higher. It's fallen short of the 200 week moving average and I think it's interesting to note thus far the price action this week. Now we're only two days in to this week, so ultimately we still have quite a way to go in the context of this particular chart. But I think it's fairly instructive that we've actually retraced 50% of the entire down move from the 2013 highs to the 2015 lows. We've also run up against resistance to the 200 week moving average and we've corrected sharply away from it. If we're able to sustain the sterling gains and euro losses that we've seen thus far, then we've potentially got a bearish engulfing week on the weekly candle. That could be potentially very positive for sterling and help put a floor under sterling, particularly against the euro. But ultimately we need to see where, it, where it's going to close this week. By moving to the daily chart we can get a better indication of the gradient of the uptrend that we've seen since the November lows. And I've linked a line joining the lows through December, January and February. And that trend line comes in around about 7740. Now if we break below 77.40 then there's potential to move lower towards 76.90 which is where that single horizontal line is and then below that we've got a whole host of support lines which come in around about the 75.20 to 75.30 area. So those are the key support levels on euro sterling and those are the levels that we need to see break to get some indication that the pound could be starting to gain a little bit of strength over the course of the next few trading sessions.
So that's pretty much it for this week. Just a quick reminder about Friday's webinar starts at 1.15 for non-farm payers. Otherwise, until the same time next week, this is Michael Houston talking to you from CMC Markets.